emerge, two families have been united. May both families continue to be a source of love, support and guidance through Mary and Harry's life together. Harry was born on the uh, uh, 20th of August 1994, which is a magnificent day for English cricket when Devon Malcolm, that great fast bowler. And do you know, Harry was considerate enough to delay his arrival in the world <laughs> to allow me to watch every single wicket falling. So Harry and I were, were babysat together by Marilyn until the age of five. And Harry, in, in many ways, has been kind of like the brother that I never had. Yeah. <laughs> um, when Mary was just four years old and two months, my parents gave her the best possible gift. <laughs> Me. <laughs> seen the kind of wedding planning document that Mary had in preparation for today. It was like multi-page, colour-coded, chronologically ordered, and it was an absolute piece of, you know, art. So big round of applause for Mary and uh, for that. I've heard many stories from my parents and my family that she was super loving and kind and really took care of me in my younger years, and I don't doubt that for a second. Harry managed to turn up on time and remember his words. So another round of applause for that. Yeah. Uh, Harry has been fortunate in uh, marrying Mary. Beautiful, talented, hardworking, immensely gifted. And Mary has been <laughs> equally fortunate in marrying, marrying, in marrying, in marrying Harry. Thank you for those who've come all the way from India, from Norway, from the US, uh, from Germany. I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone for being here. It means so much to both of us. My dad has been talking about my wedding day for as long as I can remember, even before Harry was in the picture. <laughs> to all of you who've come and made this day so beautiful and special to us, thank you so much for coming. One time um, that the Marion and Ed took us to the beach, you know, and I distinctly remember kind of turning around to Harry and, and seeing little eight-year-old Harry go down and pick up the biggest rock you've ever seen. And he starts to starts to cock his arm back, and Harry threw this rock at me. Yeah, eight-year-old Harry, like, you know, my best friend for eight years had gone and decided to, to start throwing rocks at me. But you know, thankfully. Over the years, Harry's managed to, you know, do perhaps one of the wisest things he's ever done with a rock and put one on Mary's finger. So, so you know, at least he's learned over the years. Mary, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Harry, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today I am standing before you with a lots of uh, emotions. I'm so happy, I'm proud, but I have to say I'm a bit anxious and worried as well. Love is a choice to do what you believe is right at any one time, regardless of how you feel. She lives 
the family and joins the man and i'm sure her is there to look after him to look after her you know i said i am anxious i do solemnly declare that i know not of any lawful impediment why i henry edward johnson horton may not be joined in matrimony to mary philo renju i do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Mary Philo Renji, may not be joined in matrimony to Henry Edward Johnson Horton. Mary was born 9,909 days before. God blessed us with a beautiful girl. Harry and Mary, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely, and wholehearted. I have. I have. Mary, I will always be there for you. And uh, Harry, uh, such a nice man, always looking after her. I don't. I am speechless. Okay. Harry, are you resolved to take Mary to be your wife, to love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others? to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I am. Mary, I will resolve to take Harry to be your husband, to love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I am. Uh, Mary's taught me a lot and she's always got a shoulder for me to cry on and she's my best friend. I'm proud to say she's made me into the woman I am today. Mary is a, a fantastically kind and thoughtful person. You know, I've seen over all the years that, that I've seen you guys together. What I think is, is quite special is not that you are both fantastic people in your own right, um, but that you complement each other so well. And I think it's that kind of humour that you guys have together. I think it's the kind of kindness and love that, that you share um, that will make this uh, a very, very strong and happy marriage. Uh, and I wish you all the best for it. When I say that I could think of no better addition to our family, and um, I'm glad to have you as my new brother. I can't wait to see what amazing things the future has in store for us. Harry, you will make many, uh, many good decisions in your life and you will make a, a good many more, but you will never make a better decision than uh, marrying, marrying Mary. <laughs> Mum and Dad are immensely proud and immensely pleased for you. I ask you to charge your glasses and raise, raise them to a bumper toast to Harry and Mary. To Mary and Harry. To the bride and the groom. <laughs> Penultimate. <laughs> I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Henry Edward Johnson Horton, do take me, the <laughs> Mary Philo Renju, to be my lawful wedded wife. 
I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Mary Philo Renju, do take the Henry Edward Johnson Horton to be my lawful wedded husband. Don't misunderstand the small things in life, the ordinary things of life. Your love has to make all the ordinary extraordinary. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till Your death, death do, do us part. Some days you will feel like pouring the teapot over their head rather than pouring a cup of tea. But love prompts you to pour a cup of tea instead. <laughs> 